and Jen here from Saskatoon Party Rentals and we losing my voice talking to a lot of people. There's lots of brides out today. We're at the wedding show. Got a lot of people coming through on the photo booths. This is our setup. Rewind. Oh, we go to do the wedding show and lots of our stuff is booked out. So back to the drawing board to uh, make some make some new flower pieces for the wedding show. So let's build a piece. Crikey, we've got a live one here. See the majestic flower creator in its natural environment. Well, that's about, what, $260 worth of flowers? Yeah, about. I can't believe that these are only $17. I should have come back and get a whole bunch of these. Uh, today I'm getting prepped for the wedding show. Uh, lots of my stuff was already booked out. So, uh, like, my triangle arches were gone. Um, like, lots of my stuff was gone. So, I've got to build stuff and buy stuff for this upcoming wedding show. And let's get into it. I'll tell you about what I'm doing for the wedding show. All right, so this bad boy is ready to go tomorrow. Here, I'll hold it. So it doesn't fall. This way, nice. As you've seen in lots of my videos, my wife decorates pretty much everything. And uh, so she made a sign for the wedding show. So it's, uh, it's gonna be good. Today, we're gonna wire a plug onto a chandelier that has one of these guys. So it's got, uh, it's supposed to go on the roof, but we don't want it in the roof. We wanna plug it in because I own a party rental company and I wanna put this bad boy in tents and I wanna put it in my wedding show and all sorts of different places. So let's get into it. Literally just have to take one of these uh, triple sockets here. Uh, the, third, the third thing is just for ground and uh, hook up all the wires to it. So I put some bulbs on from some of my string lights and I attached it up. So as you can see, the ground wire is exposed and that's okay. Ground wires are allowed to be exposed as uh, they don't have any current running them uh, unless there's an electrical surge. Uh, so it's all hooked up and we plug it in. Bam, chandelier. Now let's go to the wedding show and check it out. What's up guys, it's me here, the bartending photo booth and rental guy, and I'm at the wedding show. We're live here at the wedding show. Uh, we've got a photo booth. We've wick -a -wick -a rewind. Looks awesome. Good enough. We're live here at the wedding show. Uh, we've got a photo booth. We've got some barrels. Uh, we hung the brand new chandelier, got some lights strung up. Um, we've got the letters here on the dance floor. And uh, Jen built a new flower piece and uh, a new arch. All of our arches were out already, so we had to um, build another arch. And today we are getting people to click on the QR code uh, in the photo booth and uh, it will, they can take pictures of themselves and then it will also send them a link to our sales page. We've got some aggressive sales going on uh, because we want to uh, make our money back from the show. Right? Right? Yeah. 
So, wedding show went pretty good. Um, I did over anticipate um, people just walking by my booth. I thought that they were just gonna walk in uh, because they saw a photo booth there, but that really wasn't the case. I got a little too cocky there. Um, I should have had a sign out front that had the QR code uh, telling people to scan it so they could see the specials. Um, however, I did have a booth um, that was right there across the way and they were aggressive salespeople and they, every person that they roped in, they, they made them come through our booth next and so that made a lot of people come through the photo booth. So I should have been more aggressive, um, but thankfully it still worked out. We had lots of people go through the booth and then now I'm just gonna monitor the sales page and uh, see what the booking habits are for people. And um, that's it, my funnel. So to conclude, my funnel was to have a, have a beautiful booth and then to get people in by explaining the photo booth to them. And then when they take photos from the photo booth, it text messages to them, which sends them a link to the sales page where the sales expire uh, within seven days. So it encourages them to book, but then also encourages them to check it every day for the next seven days because we'll keep adding items. So they want to keep checking back. And usually um, what you need to show someone multiple times before they actually book something. So this is a way to get them on your website multiple times in order to secure that booking at the end. So that is my funnel for the customers. And I hope that it works and uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. We'll see you on the next one. And as always, you stay classy. Well, I haven't even left the show yet and I got my first booking. So um, if that's anything to say of the future to come, then uh, it's working. Also, I learned that um, you shouldn't be buying crystal chandeliers, you should be buying acrylic chandeliers, so, um, oops. Ladies and gentlemen, your October 2nd, 2022 winner, give a 